Welcome to a Code Report Solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to problem C from the Code Forces contest round 501 entitled Songs Compression. The problem states Ivan has n songs on his phone. The size of the ith song is ai bytes. Ivan also has a flash drive which can hold at most m bytes in total. Initially, his flash drive is empty. Ivan wants to copy all n songs to the flash drive. He can compress the songs. If he compresses the ith song, the size of the ith song reduces from ai bytes to bi bytes. Ivan can compress any subset of the songs, possibly empty, and copy all the songs to his flash drive if the sum of their sizes is at most m. He can compress any subset of the songs and it doesn't necessarily have to be contiguous, meaning in a row. Ivan wants to find the minimum number of songs he needs to compress in such a way that all his songs fit on the drive. If it is impossible to copy all the songs, even if Ivan compresses all the songs, print negative one. Otherwise, print the minimum number of songs Ivan needs to compress. And note that the constraints for this problem are that the number of songs n is going to be between 1 and 10 to the 5th and uh, the size of each of our individual songs and the total that can be stored on the flash drive is going to be between 1 and 10 to the 9th. So let's take a look at one of the examples that Code Forces provided us with. So here is our example that Code Forces has provided us with. On our first line, we have n and m, the number of songs and the number of bytes our flash drive can store respectively. And the next n lines give us the values for a and b for each of our songs. So if we visualize this, it'll look as follows. So each of these represent uh, the two different sizes for each of our songs. So uh, blue plus orange is equal to the total size, and then and blue is the compressed size. So the way we're going to solve this problem is by taking a look at the differences and optimally compressing the songs uh, when we need to. So the first thing we're going to do is going to, we're going to create a vector of the differences between our uh, total song sizes and our compressed song sizes. And we're going to negate this so that we can sort this from greatest to uh, smallest, largest to smallest. And then uh, we're going to uh, calculate the total. Uh, if we don't compress any of the songs, Songs, which is just all of the a values so 10 plus 7 plus 3 plus 5 which is 25 and we can see that this is currently greater than 21 so our next step is going to be to sort our uh, vector diff so now we have these uh, sorted from largest to smallest and now we're just going to one by one um, add these or subtract these from our total until uh, we can get our total size below our value m. So if we decrease total by uh, our first um, element in our vector diff, that gets us to 22, and we've now compressed uh, one song. And if we do that with our second uh, song, we're now going to get our total to 20, which is less than 21. So now we've compressed two songs, and we have met the requirements that the problem is asking for. Um, so this is basically the whole algorithm. You just need to calculate the differences, sort them, and then remove them one by one until either uh, our total is less than m or we've exhausted all the elements. And if we've gone through the whole, uh, all of the elements in our vector diff and it's still greater than, then we know that it's not possible to fit them all onto our flash drive, in which case we will uh, return negative one. And the only other case is when uh, our total is initially less than m, then we can just return zero. Um, and we'll show that in the code. So that's our algorithm. Let's take a look at our code. So here is our C++ solution. Uh, we have our function compress songs, which takes uh, two vectors of integers. Note that we're using VI here, which is type alias in 4i, which is just a macro. So uh, VI stands for a vector of integers, and 4i is just a loop from uh, our start value to our end value. And uh, we are also passing in N and M, our number of songs and our uh, total number of bytes we can store in our flash drive. So as previously mentioned, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, declare our vector of integers diff. Then we are going to calculate the differences for each of the songs. So it's just gonna be uh, the difference between A and B. Note that we are doing it backwards, B minus A, because we want those differences to be negative. And then we're calculating our total using the accumulate function, which is just summing all of the values in our vector A. 
then we have a little if statement to deal with the condition where uh, initially our total is already uh, less than our target, which means we don't need to compress any songs and we can just output zero. And then for our other cases, what we're going to do is we're going to sort our differences uh, and then we're going to initialize a variable i, which is just going to be our index of the current song we're looking at. And we're going to loop through in a while loop while our total is greater than our target value m. And uh, we haven't, we still have elements to look at. We are going to do a plus equals of total uh, of our current negative difference so we're basically subtracting that difference from total and then uh, pre-incrementing i and once we finish this while loop uh, we're just going to output uh, either the index that we got to um, which is going to be equal to the number of songs that we compressed or negative one if we still have our total not being uh, less than or equal to m so the last thing to talk about is the time complexity for this problem, and because we are using a sort, that's going to drive the time complexity of our algorithm, which will be n log n. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.